Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. We're going to do a little Goodwill tool haul. Recently went to a Goodwill, saw they had this bag of tools. I was able to kind of look at the bag and peek at them, and I saw it wasn't just a bag full of China tools. So it was $7.88, and I thought, ah, I'm going to have $8 worth of fun just digging through this and kind of playing around with it. I really like the vintage tools, and back in the day, we used to do some tool haul videos once in a while and I'm hoping as the weather gets nice maybe between thrift stores garage sales and estate sales we can do some more of this I actually have a couple of those things coming up this weekend so maybe as soon as next week we'll be checking out some more tools but again I like the old stuff so let's see what's in the bag and if we got our seven dollars and eighty eight cents worth uh, with all these sockets and stuff Alright, we have a spark plug socket. The boot's still in there. It looks bad, but maybe we'll throw these in some evapo rust. So it's a Craftsman made in USA, 5 8 inch with the 3 8 inch uh, squares, the 3 8 inch drive. And look, if you look at the side, actually, when I was more into selling these and stuff I could have told you more about it but it's part of the V series which is actually pretty popular with craftsman tools we'll see how much this one cleans up down the road but that's a good start vintage American made craftsman tool here we have a right USA 9 16 again 3 8 drive 6 point another nice vintage brand I don't know if you guys can even see that. I'll try to remember to keep the stuff closer to the camera. Have another right USA 13 16 I wonder if we'll have a whole set of these in here. That'd be nice. 3 8 drive. It's actually in pretty good shape. We have this tiny Allen. I don't think that's worth anything, is it? Sorry. Hex key. You know, people get all mad. Alan Ranch is a trade name. Okay, I'm sure. Another hex key. Don't see any interesting things there. I'm telling you, we got a whole set of right sockets here. This is going to be good. So here we have a 7 8. Again, so far, all 3 8 drive and 6, six point. Let's see, what does this say? 5 8 Thorson, USA. I have a couple of their sockets actually still new in the package for sale on eBay. So we got a deep well, 12 point, 3 8 drive, 5 8. Tell me I'm happy with my purchase. I think I did good here. You know, it's one of the best things about going to the auctions. When they got those box lots, you get the flats, and you don't even got to look through all of them. Just find a few, pick out a few, be like, oh, I saw the word Craftsman in there. Oh, I see right. You know, I see Mac. I saw a Snap-on in there. We're going to buy it, and we're just going to dig through the rest and have fun with it. So this says USA. This is Industro. Well, these are a lot of good vintage brands. 13 16 USA again 3 8 drive you even have the hex end you can throw a wrench on there or something it's all shot out in the inside but you kind of expect that we're changing spark plugs around here now another one of the rights this is the 11 16 3 8 we're going to have a full set here I can feel the full set coming of the rights some more hex keys we don't have to care too much about. Let's look at the ratchet. The ratchet is a Sparta. Sparta USA. Looks like, is that just me or has that got a little curvature to it? It's coming down a little maybe? I don't know, maybe. Seems like it still works all right. <laughs> Other way, stupid. 
Well, it's just a snap ring. It'd be easy enough to take that out, clean it, and grease it. It'd be a good little ratchet. I'm still trying to figure out, does it look like it's bent? Maybe not. Got this guy. I also saw where this. Let's get the old seam roller out of the way. You want to come over and do some wallpaper at my house? I got a tool for you. What's it say on it? It says Accuracy Warner Tools made in the USA. I kind of like the wood handle stuff, just a little nostalgia. See, it says 31 on it. I don't know what that's referencing, but... Little wall hanger? Hmm? Decoration, maybe? Another hex key, this one's got some tape on it. I don't know if that's any significance. Kind of not impressed with the hex keys, didn't need all those. Should've took them out of the bag. So you guys can resell these, we're gonna donate the hex keys back to you. Here is a ProMate 916th made in Taiwan. I'm not as impressed with ProMate. Put ProMate off to the side. We don't need to be buggering up my USA tools with a Taiwanese tool. Another right. We got the right 3 quarter inch 3 8 drive. So we're up to five right sockets. Whoops. Let's get this. In the right area here. What was that? 11 16 Yeah, there we go. We're good. We got them all in order. We know math. Got another hex key. Oh man. Another one of them pro mates. This is the half inch. It's like mid size. Not really a deep well, but mid length. Sorry. Got a three inch extension, three eighths drive. It is a. What does that say? New Britain. Made in the USA, New Britain. Another right. Oh, three eighths. Three eighths on a really small. What size is this? Three eighths, quarter inch. Another right. Five sixteenths. Getting the whole set here. Still digging out a couple of uh, hex keys. Another right. Here we have the three eighths. We're filling it in. And a seven sixteenths right. Got a little universal guy. A little stiff, a little stiff. Ooh, it's a proto. Cool. Put a little something, something on that. Maybe get it a little nicer. Although the stiffness might end up working to its advantage. 3 8 drive proto. Of course, made in USA. Got the right set continuing on. Here's the half inch. Boy, look how easy it is to read that number up nice and big. And the 5 eighths. This was the 9 sixteenths. Oh man, we got it all. Look at this. Look at this. That was 5 eighths. Okay. So we got quarter, 5 sixteenths. Are these all in order now? 3 eighths, 7 sixteenths, right? 7 sixteenths, half, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths. 11 sixteenths, three quarter. Is that, look at the 13 sixteenths and the seven eighths. Do we have the 11? Oh, yeah, 11 sixteenths is right there. Pfft. Look at that. Look at what we're doing here. Ooh, that one. Someone did something there. I don't think you're supposed to use it like that. I think someone put like some pliers or something on the end of this. Number zero Phillips USA Craftsman. You think I could warranty that? Sure worth a try. More hex keys. Going in the hex key pile. Going in the hex key pile. Another hex key. 
Okay, last but not least, we have the vice grip. It says 7R and DeWitt, Nebraska, Peterson Manufacturing. Ooh, man, look at that. Even threads nice and smooth. I think we're going to throw this in some Evapo Rust. See what they look like at, look like after a day of doing that. I really need a parts washer. I saw some people that took old dishwashers and turned them into a parts washer. And I'm thinking, it's a damn good idea. I like that. So we might try it because the Evaporust definitely works better after all the dirt and debris is off of things. But these work pretty nice. Smooth. Okay guys, so here is what we got. For $7.88 we end up with a vintage, well they're all vintage, but a pair of vice grips and we got the ratchet that was Sparta. And we got a Craftsman socket, we got or, or a, couple, a couple of Craftsman sockets, and what was that one, Industro socket, then we got the New Britain, and we got the Proto, up there, and we got the full set of right sockets, everything else kind of me. I'm not complaining. There it is, thanks for watching, and come back next time, we'll try and do another little vintage tool haul. Because I like it.